So I recently saw how someone organized their meetings in Notion and I thought that's not very good. So in this video, I'm going to show you two ways that you can organize meetings in Notion to be A, more efficient and B, actually useful to you. Because firstly, it can embed in your central system. Your meetings will sit amongst your tasks, projects, and other events in your day. You can easily transcribe the meeting, you'll get a summary of the meeting, and unlike other meeting softwares, you can embed other resources or embed other softwares right into that meeting note. And lastly, that meeting page, if you're working with a team, they can get immediate access to all of those notes, transcripts, and resources. So let's go through how it works. In this video, I'll be using headquarters as my example. That is my personal productivity template. And I'll also show you how to do it in Colab, which is my Notion template for Teams. So a meeting is just a task. So in Notion, wherever you add your tasks, what you'll do is simply write, you know, meeting. So in headquarters here, it will show up under my day today. You'll see it here sitting under week's tasks and you'll also see it here sitting under the order tab. Now, because meetings are scheduled, we don't really have to worry about the importance and urgency. That idea comes from the Eisenhower matrix. Filling these out is more useful for us if we want the tasks to reorder themselves, which would happen here under the order tab. But what I do want to know is when I'm actually going to have this meeting. So here, what I'll do is say, 1 p.m. And I'll say that it's a flow state task. That way I can organize my day so I don't have too many cognitively demanding tasks. And now here comes the important bit. We have the bucket. So here I'll say which type of bucket is this. So I'll say that this is under my job. It's a meeting with my boss. And then here we have the project. So right now we don't have any projects in here as this template has just been downloaded. So what we'll do is say here, what project is this relating to? Well, let's say it's to do with the report, how creative. Now here's the next step that I would also recommend doing. Here where you have your project, the report, I recommend adding another one, which is meetings. So this project here of meetings is where you can find every single meeting you ever have. Because this meeting that we're going to have with the boss, where we take all the notes and stuff, we want that to show up obviously on the report page. So if I scroll down and go to report, I want that meeting to show up here. But in the future, if I'm ever looking to find all the different meetings I've had, I want to have a place where I can find that as well. So having this meetings here is really useful. Now on Colab, this is already set up. If we just say meeting here and we'll say the project is reports for this one as well. This is already set up with priority. You can simply click here and just say meeting and then it will show up in a meeting workspace. So here we can see meetings. As this is set up for teams to work together, it was important to have this workspace as obviously meetings is a big part of that. So now that we're having this meeting, what are we going to do? Well, what we'll do is open up this page here and here is where we'll take our notes. Here I can type what's happening, blah, blah, blah. But what's better to do is use Notion's new meeting function. So what I can do is write forward slash and then write meet. This new feature here, which is in beta mode is incredibly powerful. Let's test this out. Right now I am talking and I'm saying words for this tutorial to show you how this feature works. And then we'll click on stop. So what it does is incredibly powerful. First, we have the transcript. As you can see, it was a very short transcript. Right now I'm talking and I'm saying words for this tutorial to show you how this feature works. So here we can see everything that was said, but we also have the summary. Now, obviously, because I didn't say much, you can see here that it says this transcript is quite brief. But one thing that I want to show you here is that this here isn't like a normal summary that you see. This is a block that we can move about. Meaning on this page here, we can add anything else that we want to. So obviously we could add the agenda above this and then underneath have this as a separate thing. So here we could say transcript, turn these into headers. So this here is a block and we can even edit this if we want, as you see. So on this page here, let's say you also have resources here. You can drag in PDFs, for example. So unlike most meeting note systems where you just see either the transcript or a summary, on this page here, we can still use all the other Notion functions so we can add in other blocks and we can embed from other softwares. This is incredibly useful as we're building a central hub for that meeting that we had. And obviously the same thing would work here in Colab. If I open up here, we have two defaults, the feedback form and the support request. And on this meetings page here, where we'll see all our meetings, we can obviously open this up here as well. And simply by doing forward slash meeting, we can easily transcribe meetings, summarize meetings, add other resources to the meetings, and then store them in the places that we need to. And obviously, if you're using Colab, then here under the assigned to, what we can do is add the boss, because by default, that's the only team member. But obviously, we can add everyone that is in this meeting. So let's just add a new person called Blah. Click here, and as you can see, Blah shows up as well under the team members. So everyone who's going to be in the meeting will sit here. So then immediately after that meeting, when we have these meeting notes here, 
If we go to Blas workspace and click on new member here, this is what they'll see on their end. So this here is their dashboard. They'll have that same meeting page here and see all of these meeting notes and resources that you add in here. This is what makes Colab such an efficient workspace for working in a team. So if you're interested in Colab or interested in headquarters, you can find both of them linked in the description. Or you can click on these videos here to check out their full tools. Thanks for watching.